All right, hey everybody, we are back with another review. This time we're checking out infography.in. It's a uh, AI infographics tool. So all you gotta do is put in a prompt or a website link or a blog post and it will create a infographic for you, which is pretty cool, especially if you have a really terrible Pinterest account like I do. Um, and just to show you some results, before we get going, I, my Pinterest was completely dead. I started posting a couple of these every now and again about a week ago. So, and it's already showing a 127% impression gain, which isn't super impressive considering I've had no traffic. But you can see right here, I posted the first one on the 12th. And the very next, yeah, the very next day, I got 89 impressions and then 73 or 173. So it, 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 it was a pretty drastic jump pretty immediately, which is pretty cool. Now that's actually what got me to buy it because I did that on the trial. And then I went back and bought it a couple days later. Now it is a lifetime deal currently. This probably won't be on lifetime for too long, but uh, it's still definitely in beta and you can tell. And I'll show you that here in a second. So let's go ahead and jump into the back end. It's very simple. This is one of the most simple softwares I've ever seen. So over here on the side, you got your home, you got your saved, and then you got your templates. We'll go over the templates here in a second. So let's go back to the home page here. So you just put in your blog URL here, hit the type you want. You can do square, you can do vertical. I actually haven't tested square, so we'll do that here in a second. Uh, you can just do a topic and type in what you want. Um, and we'll do that as well. And then you can just paste in your own content if you have a PDF you want to use or some kind of information you want to use, but you don't have it on, on a page or something. You can just copy it and paste it into here. So let's jump over to Wines Uncovered, grab a blog post, and all you need is the link. So we'll just copy the link to that one, head back over here, paste. This is Wine Tasting Techniques, and we're going to go ahead and do a square one because I haven't done that one yet does take a little while and we'll do uh, the exact same one and we'll do a vertical one as well. Okay, so the square ones are up and I actually like these quite a bit. Those are pretty good, not too bad. Now these are very small and you could see there's some issues with the text overlapping on a lot of these. This one looks good. This one, this one's good, good, good. This is too much text here. They need to put a limit on the text. And then this one here is completely overblown. They need some kind of dynamic way to control the text or the amount of text that it pulls in. Uh, I think that will do a lot here. Uh, but yeah, this actually generated quite a bit. It doesn't normally generate that many, especially on the long ones. And here's the example of the long ones, the verticals. Now what you can do, if you don't like them, you can just click the edit button here. And you have all the options. This is the text it pulled in. You can, you can change and adjust whatever you like over here. You can change your fonts. You can change your sizes. So if it's too big, for example, you can fix that. What you can't do is here, how it's to the too far to the left, you can't fix that. So that's a, that's a problem. They probably need to get that fixed. Now up on the top, you have change colors. And right now you can't control it. You just kind of click it and see what happens. And it just randomly changes the color tone, which is cool. I would definitely rather have some kind of brand control where you just have some brand colors that it works through. That would be better. So you got the download button over here and then the save button. Now there's some issues with the saving and I'm gonna, we're gonna go over that here in just a second too, but uh, let's X out of this one. So that was pretty cool. And then this one, I, this is too bright. I feel like it's, okay, so that lightened up a bit. That wasn't bad. And like I said, you can change the fonts over here if you're not a big fan of these fonts. This is where those brand settings would really do a lot of work. So you wouldn't have to keep picking your fonts and your colors and stuff like that. And let's do an edit on one of these. And it's the same situation. I would like a uh, kind of click and drag and drop editor right here. That would do a lot for quick edits, especially fixing that one over here, how it's kind of too far to the left. You just go and edit at that point, click and drag it over, kind of like Canva. That would be very useful. But right now, they don't have that setting. I really like this, but let's go ahead and check other colors. Oh, that looks great. Okay, not bad. I mean, so they have some good options. You just keep clicking until you, you like it. So you get the design you want, and then you click the edit, and you try to get the color the color scheme that you, you think fits. And you can change the, the fonts. You can change the text, but that's kind of a pain in the butt. For an AI solution, you kind of want it to do it for you. So they really need to fix the, the text quantity. So right now, the only solution would be to probably lower the, yeah, there you go, lower the text size on it. The main issue with that is it's going to be harder to read for your followers. 
All right, so next up is the topic. We'll just do wine tasting 101 and we'll do vertical and then we'll duplicate, copy the same one and we'll do square this time. Now let's go over here. We'll go ahead and save this one here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about when I said there's an issue with it. While those are loading, let's go to the saved. Now over here, you can see I've saved a couple. I actually clicked it twice on this one and it saved twice. Not a big fan of that. Now what you'll notice in here is there is no option to unsave. There's no delete. There's no nothing like that, uh, which is a huge miss. I feel like that's kind of basics as far as software goes. If you have a favorites list, you need to be able to remove from favorites, but they definitely missed that. This was this is a brand new thing they brought out though. So I guess there's that. And then you got the templates here. I'll give you a nice little number of templates and they have been adding to this quite a bit. So I like that. And you can just click use with AI. Uh, I haven't done that yet, so we'll go through that here in just a second as well after we're done testing the other stuff. So here's the square ones. They don't have nearly as many of those. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go see the results here. So wine tasting 101, we just did the prompt for an idea. That one's hideous. Uh, I like this one. And yeah, it spit out three good options that you can now go edit, change the colors, change the fonts to whatever, uh, adjust the text, adjust the size of the text, whatever. Whatever you think you need to do, you can do quickly. I do like the fact that it is very quick. It did miss, or it doesn't have a URL here, so you'd want to add a URL, um, and that would populate down here at the bottom. So let's go check out the square, which we forgot to hit the generate button. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, so here's the wine tasting 101 square. It didn't pop out nearly as many options for this one, and it completely shit to bed on this one, it looks like. Um, all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> the AI looks like it got frustrated. Apparently it didn't pass through any prompts. Uh, this is a huge miss on the square. I need to get that fixed. Uh, that's, that's awful. This is completely unusable. Let's try to generate again. Maybe we get lucky. Yeah, no, not working. Let's reload. See, here's the thing. The other one worked. The vertical worked, but the square doesn't. That's interesting. I, they probably don't know about this bug. I can imagine they don't. And we'll go ahead and double check, make sure it wasn't a fluke that we got it right on this last one. So let's go ahead and do wine tasting 101 again. Yeah, so analysis of text content. So basically what's happening is this is not getting passed to the AI. And the AI is saying, hey, there's nothing here to work with. There's an absence of content, importance of clear communication. It's, it's basically talking crap at this point. So that's hilarious, uh, but this is the square for topic idea is completely busted currently. Let's see what else is not working. Okay, so this one, yeah, the vertical's working, but the square is not. So there you go. So that is, that is most definitely a bug. So let's go over here, grab some text. We'll just grab the first bit of this blog post. It's about unveiling the language of vintners. And this is pretty nerdy stuff. It's wine. It's for wine nerds only. Okay, so let's see if it does it on the square. Okay, and then let's do content. This is the vertical one. Boom. All right, so the square one does look like it worked. And it did a decent job. These are these are not terrible. Okay, so the content square one does work. The and the vertical does work as well. It really likes this template here. I can tell. And we'll take a closer look at the templates here in a bit. Just wanted to get those all tested. Um, so there we go. There's our results. So let's go back to the templates. We got vertical ones. You got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27. You got 27 different templates that they're working with. You do see a lot of duplicates I've noticed. So let's click on one, see what happens. I have actually never done this. So use with AI. Okay, so if you wanna get a specific template, you click that and you would click or you'd give it your your blog URL and it will generate something for you. Okay, there we go. So you get to you can choose your template. I would like if you could uh, do more than one at a time. That would be really nice, like kind of check mark and then generate with templates. Uh, that would be really cool. But this is this is not bad. Let's see if it, oh, it add the link. Okay, added the URL. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Change the color, and it would be really cool if it could pull the colors from the website scheme. Obviously, the, the colors should be like pink and red for this one. Uh, so, you know, just something that might be able to...
be improved in the future. Uh, again, this is a, a brand new software, so can't expect too much. It is really cool though. Let's check out the square ones. There's definitely a lot less of these. You got four, eight, 12, 16, missing one, 20, 22. Let's test the missing one. See what happened here. Uh, and we'll generate with the same blog post. <laughs> okay, and it, it showed up nothing. Yeah, that one's just broken, I guess. It does show that it's broken too. So to be fair, that's kind of our fault. Uh, let's do this one though. Oh, okay, so it just kind of, never mind. I take it back. That actually works. See, if we already pulled it, we click on this and it's automatically filling it in. That's really cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and you can just, okay, so this is how you get different versions of each one. Awesome. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a good, that's a good use of that. Okay. So you got preferences here, which is really just language. I'm assuming this is going to be kind of the, uh, the brand settings. Eventually, this is probably where it's going to be. Again, they, they're just now adding all this stuff. When I first bought it, it was literally just home. And then the infographic, I think you could have saved stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it was working or not. I don't remember. There's, they definitely didn't have templates. They added that. I don't remember if they had preferences or not. Let's go ahead and jump over to the feedback so we can check out the roadmap. This is what's on the roadmap. Right now, they're trying to do the move text freely, which is exactly what I mentioned uh, with the issue in that one, that first one. Uh, support for 16 by nine ratio, that's a little weird. Don't know of any infographics that are ever really posted that are 16 by nine, but I'm, I'd be interested. I'm all down for more options. Template selection and favorites. That's kind of what they have now, except you can't really favorite the ones where it uses those more often. And then next up, they got planned. They, they want to do a Pinterest integration. The problem with the Pinterest integrations is that with Pinterest, it seems like when you use the API, you definitely get a negative reach on the pins. I don't know why. Uh, that does seem to be the case though. And I've, I've posted a lot of Pinterest stuff on different accounts. Whenever I automate with AI, that does seem to be the problem. Manually doing it does seem to have some kind of slight advantage. Uh, add more font design. Uh, there's quite a few font options already. So we got, yeah, there's probably 20 in there. That's not terrible, but yeah, you could use more. Pricing options. So they want a lower tier, which makes sense. But looks like they, I think they already added a $50 tier. So we'll go check that in a second. Generate infographics with specific brand colors and fonts. See, I'm not the only one that wants this. That seems to be the number one requested item. Now, the API is actually something I requested. I really hope they add that in. Uh, that would be very useful for really just automating some really cool stuff. Doesn't have to be fancy. And then fixing the overlapping text is something that's under review that definitely needs to be over and planned. <laughs> Download as vector, insert custom images. That would be cool. Give us a little more customization options. AI generated icons and vector illustrations. See that right there would give more variety, even though there's a limit on templates that would actually uh, give it a way to kind of differentiate from the, the templates. That's a good, that's a good one. And you can go submit your own feature requests. I've submitted a couple. The, a, the API is the one I want the most, so I'm hoping that they get that one going. So let's go check out the prices. This is a very, very simplistic software. It's, it's definitely exactly <laughs> what you want, but not too much of anything that you don't need. So it's, it's not going to overwhelm you with options, but it is going to be very easy to use, and I do like that. So tier one, they, yeah, they do have the $50 you can start in at 50 bucks. It You get 50 infographics per month. That is going to be more than enough for most people. Uh, so I would suggest the tier one for most people. Tier two is actually not a whole lot better. So you get more users, but that's not even available yet. And you, apparently you get priority email support. I think their support is perfectly fine. But then again, I have tier three. So I don't know if that's making a difference. So for me, their support was very good, very fast, very active. Tier two, you do get that better support. Uh, I don't know what the... Actually, you know what? No, the first time I contacted them, I didn't have an account. Yeah, their, their regular email support is just fine. They answered me, I believe, within definitely within a day. Tier two is $99. This is 100 infographics per month. As far as the deal goes, it's not a whole lot better of a deal than tier two. I do think they need to adjust that to like 150 or 200. I think that would be a more appealing offer at that point for double the money. You should get over the double or over double the, the content, I think. Uh, that's how LTDs generally work. 
um, but not today in this one. Now, tier three is the big jump. This is the is it's actually the reason I went with tier three because unlimited is well unlimited, and you do get eventually up to twenty users. That'll be pretty cool. But if they add the API in, I won't have to have users in there. Maybe one just in case to change some stuff and get some specific things. But uh, overall, not bad. Now the refund period is thirty days. You have thirty days to buy this, check it out, and refund. If you don't like it, just get a refund. Now you can go over and check LearnWire's review. That is actually where I found this from. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cool. There are other ones out there. This is not the only one that exists, but it is pretty darn cool. And it's always fun to get in at the beginning of a product so you can help steer it with features and ideas. And there's definitely a lot of things that need to be added to this. They definitely need to fix the topics for Square because it does not work. <laughs> We'll try one more time. Hopefully we get lucky. And as you can see, they do get impressions. It's actually my number one impression or my number one uh, post on Pinterest, which is not impressive by any means, but it is it is one of these infographics. So there you go. Oh, look at that. The topic's actually working now. So, okay. So we just had to refresh. It was something, it was some kind of glitch with us. So square topic is actually working just fine now. There you go. It actually spit out quite a bit. I like it. But yeah, that's infography.in. So go check it out. I will be leaving a coupon code down below. Now I did contact them and get a coupon code as well. The coupon code is actually SPL10OFF. So pe special 10 off. It's going to give you 10% off the lifetime price. Yeah, so I, I was pretty stoked that they gave that to me for you all. So if you want to check it out, I will leave the coupon code in the description as well. Try to use the link if you can. I'd appreciate it. If you don't have to, you can just go to uh, infography.in and you can use the coupon code. It is SPL10OFF. SPL10OFF. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope that helps and go check it out. Have a great day.